Calls to defund police are growing louder. Depending on who you talk to, defunding can mean everything from completely dismantling police forces to shifting funding away from law enforcement towards community and mental health resources. Too many people, especially black and indigenous people, do not feel protected by the police. They feel threatened. As Mike Drolet reports, it sparked a reimagining of what public safety looks like. The calmness of the latest Toronto protests belie the seriousness of the demands to defund, abolish or reimagine the police force. We have to look at alternatives besides just militarizing the police. The protests have been a constant for weeks, impossible for politicians to ignore. The reality is that these requests have been coming from our communities for years and none of us have been active listeners. Not the chief, not the mayor, not myself. Well, they're listening now, but they don't like the protesters' suggestion of a 50% cut to the police budget. Instead, the debate has focused on either a 10% cut or the creation of a non-police mental health response team, which already exists, but critics say is rarely used. We've had these spikes in shootings or, and everything, and every time that happens, they cry out for money, more money, and they get more money, and the shootings still go up. So obviously the money being allocated for preventing shootings is not being used properly. So that maybe needs to look, be one of the first places you can look at. It's a debate Ontario's Premier says he doesn't want to step in, at least not officially. But I think it's absolutely critical. We uh, keep as many police on the, on the streets making the calls because when people, Mike, when people call 911, they expect the police to be there. So how is public money allocated? Well, in Canada, over $15 billion was spent on policing in 2018, which is almost four times as much as the amount of public money spent on mental health and addiction care. When private spending is included, the amount spent on mental health care reaches $15.8 billion. Police responding to mental health calls is a glaring issue. At least that's what Toronto's police chief says. But he adds, if not them, then whom? A question even advocates for change admit needs to be addressed. I stop and I say, great, this is great, I love the energy, I love the fact that this is in the media, I love the fact that people are talking about it. Now let's sit down and actually have a plan, um, because if you don't have a plan, uh, you, you are planning to fail. Mike Grolet, Global News Toronto.